Welcome to Class Soulmates. My name is Justice. We're going to be making this structure sleeve very simple and beautiful. You can always rock it as you're ready to wear sleeve. Okay, so you need your basic sleeve pattern placed on another paper and trace the sleeve head. Okay, you can see the way I'm pla I placed it and tracing only the sleeve um, head or the curvy parts, right? So once you get to that point, you're going to rule a line. This paper is on fold. I'll extend it four inches out. Right? I'll need to measure it to be sure it's what it is. Four inches, measure only the slip the sleeve head. Measure um now from this line that we've ruled, I'm marking four inches. From that line, I marked 4 inches and I'm going to rule it to match with the 4 inches on top. You can see where it stops. Okay, so this is a gap between the sleeve head and the armhole area, the remaining part of the sleeve. Now, the in-between is just the midpoint of it where I'm going to be folding it from. Then I'm going to rule a straight line like this so that I can place the sleeve again and measure out what is remaining. Okay, now you're going to place what is remaining from this last line. You know where you marked before. From this midpoint, the last line, of, of course you're going to mark the midpoint so that you know where to start. Place it there and trace out the remaining part. Okay, then continue the tracing. That is the end of the sleeve. This depends on the length of the sleeve. It can be a long sleeve. It can be a short sleeve. Here I'm making it a short sleeve. Okay, so this is what we now have. Now the next step is for you to get your tracing wheel and trace. Remember I said the pattern is on fold. The paper is on fold. So I'm going to trace it to appear on the other side and I'll open it up and mark everything so that it will be visible. I've marked it and now I'm going to cut it out, right? So just watch how it's going to be cut out. And in case you've not subscribed, please, this is the right time for you to place your subscription for more interesting videos. So you can see the way I'm cutting it out. Follow the lines, right? We are not done cutting it out. We're still going to cut out the other part. Now I need to make sure that the lines align very well, aligns together or aligns, whichever one it is. So I'll just cut and make sure that all of them are on the same point. Okay, like I was saying, if you've not subscribed to this video, to this channel, please kindly do so, watch till the end, share the video, let your friends and family members come and learn how to make different designs. Okay, so I'm just making this for us to see how it is. Now the next thing is to cut out the remaining parts which is this part the excess on the sleeve head we don't need it so we're just going to cut it out we're going to cut it out okay so all you have to do is just to follow the lines and make sure that you actually know what you're doing and that is the reason why you have to watch till the end. Now you can see what we have and so it's now easier for you to... I don't even know why I was dancing. So what is remaining is this. We're going to fold the midpoint of the excess that we added. Remember that whatever is done on this paper is what you're going to be doing on your fabric. Whatever that is done here is just exactly what will be done on the fabric. Now on the fabric, for you to make this to stand, you need to add either a paper stay to it or a peplum stay to it. Only on this part that I'm folding. 
so that it will stand just the way he saw it in the picture. The picture actually is not mine, but the outcome are just exactly the same. Okay, I had to intentionally look for these particular pictures to use it to analyze what I have already done. So this is what we're going to do. We'll join this excess together like so and then join it to the sleeve head and we attach to our bodice to the armhole. I need to use a masking tape or the other kind of tape to hold it down. All right. So this part is going to be the armhole area. You can see the way it is. You put it together. The parts that will be attached to the armhole. So like I said before, whatever that is done here is what is going to be done on the fabric. Okay, so this is how it's going to look. And then you sew it into your armhole. And here is where you're going to be fixing your hand. Alright, just like this, just like this. That is where the sleeve is going to be fixed. Put them together and then fix it on your sleeve and you have the sleeve that we just made you can pin it down at the base to make it um, relax properly for you just like you see in the picture okay so i'm just going to cut this on my fabric this is it i may not be showing the outcome because i have not sewn it here but then i've finished it